welcome to this video. If you're one of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I know I've been MIA, but it's been extremely busy for me the past few months. So now I kind of got some time where I can uh, record a video. So I decided I'm gonna show y'all how I decorate it for the fall. So starting with the dining table, I decided to go with uh, orange and what is this, buffalo chick. I'll link where I got everything if possible down in the description box. But yeah, there's the buffalo chick plates. But I also knew that I wanted to add an accent color. So my favorite color and the color that's around the house is some shade of blue. So when I was at Hobby Lobby, I wasn't even looking for napkins. I was looking for napkin rings or coasters, which I did get. But then I saw these napkins and I was like, mm, I don't know, cause that's not like the normal blue that I get for the house. But I was like, I really liked it. I couldn't stop looking at it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and make this work. So I got them as well as these rose gold napkin rings and these wooden coasters. And I like it, I like how it turned out. I was also looking for some amber glass vases. I had been looking at other fall decoration videos and in one of them, they had this beautiful amber glass vase from Target. Now my Target doesn't ever have shit. <laughs> <laughs> in the home section like it's like my store just gets all the rejects of the warehouse so of course I looked but they didn't have it and I looked online it was sold out so I was trying to look everywhere else for an uh, amber glass vase and they were either too expensive or they were too small so one day I was at Walmart of all places and I saw these beautiful vases. And I was like, well, they're not really amber glass, but they still work, they're still beautiful. So I got two and I feel like they go with the theme I was going for perfectly. Don't mind the pompous grass. <laughs> I ordered them from Amazon, um, so when I opened a package, they were kind of bent at the top, but I couldn't get mad because I did order them online when I could have just went to the store and bought some. But the thing is with this type of grass is super expensive. And every store I went to, you were gonna be paying at least 25 to $40 for just a bunch, just like, maybe this amount, you were gonna be paying a lot and don't nobody got money for that. So I found some on Amazon and they were like $16 per bunch, but it was way more than what I was finding at the store. So all the white ones, they came in a pack together and then all of these kind of like I ain't know what color to call it, like brownish color ones. They all came in a pack together. I just split it up to give it a unique look. And I like it, broken ones and all. Now the decorations that are in the centerpiece, I got the, these, they were like potpourri scented decorations, but I've had these for like two years, so the scent is gone. <laughs> um, but I still really think they look nice. So I use them for every fall. But like the little hay that's at the bottom, I got that from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I just bought maybe like three packs. And I just filled the bottom up with it and then put the poopery on top and bam. Most of this stuff I've had for a few years, it's just every year 
or two, I'll just go to the store and I'll add maybe an accent piece or something. But for the most part, it's the same stuff. Um, don't mind Milo. He's, he just wants to run around while I'm trying to record. But anyway, don't think I just run to the store and every season I just buy the whole store up. I do not because I'm fairly cheap. I like to be bougie on a budget. But if I know I'm getting a quality product, I will splurge sometimes, but not all the time. And then this is what the other side looks like. So yeah, like I said, I'll link everything in the description box if I can. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the dining table. For the fireplace, I didn't really do too much. I just added the garland, which I think captures fall perfectly. Because that's exactly how it looks outside. This piece, I actually got where I got this from. Nope, I took the little thing off. But yeah, this actually lights up at night. Um, so I turn it on sometimes, but I already have 50 million lights on in the house. So I usually don't. It's just up there for decoration. And yeah, just original stuff. Um, if you haven't heard, my baby Maxwell, we had to put him to sleep. So... Um, here's his urn over here, and I haven't had enough courage to actually switch his ashes over to the urn, so we've just been keeping them in the box that he came in until we're able to switch it over. I don't mean to turn this video dark, but yeah, I did keep it up there. His urn is always going to be a part of the de decor because I always want him to be a part of everything. With the console table, I wanted to keep it kind of simple. So I got this pumpkin from Old Time Pottery. And it has our last name initial on it. And it does light up. So yeah, I'll turn that on at night so I can be kind of bright in the hallway. Um, and then this decorative piece, I actually got this from Burlington. And I got this before I got the vases that I um, bought from Walmart and realized that they actually match. So. All three were a perfect find. And I just filled this with pine cones and some little pumpkins. Then at the bottom, you just have a little tray filled with pumpkins and some fall colored um, orb balls. And the other stuff was here before. I even started decorating, so I just left it. Yeah. You ready to go to the next part of the house, Milo? <laughs> you tired of being in here? <laughs> I didn't do much in the living room. Just kind of keep this pretty standard. So the only thing I really changed in here for the fall. Mister, what you think you're doing? Get down. Get down, sir. Get down. Thank you. Now you can get me. Are these pillow covers? So I got these from Amazon. And basically the original pillows are in there. And they're like a blue color. And I just put 
the color on them to as an accent for fall. I don't like corduroy on clothing, but when I saw these pillows, I was like, that's perfect. I don't know, I see corduroy and clothes and I'm just like, oh hell no, he, who came up with this shit? But on certain things like decorative pieces, like accent pillows and stuff, I don't mind it, but <laughs> you won't catch me with that shit on. So I hope y'all liked everything. Please leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Please like the video. And I will talk to y'all later.